Useless Beauty Part 8 He was a tall, broad-shouldered man with a big red beard, a handsome man, a nobleman, a man of the world who passed as a perfect husband and an excellent father and now, for the first time since they had started, she turned toward him and looked him full in the face. Ah, you will hear some disagreeable things, but you must know that I am prepared for everything, that I fear nothing, and you less than anyone today. He also was looking into her eyes and was already shaking with rage as he said in a low voice, You are mad. Okay, let us now briefly describe some of the words and expressions in the paragraph we have just finished reading. The first one is broad-shouldered. The man is described as being tall and broad-shouldered. Broad-shouldered means shoulders uh, which do not sag, which are straight. Just have a look at the picture. You can see what broad shoulders are. The man is described as sporting a beard. Since the story takes place in Paris, we can safely and confidently assume that the person was sporting a French beard. You can see the picture of a man sporting a French beard. And the text is a bit more specific. The man is described as having a red French beard. Uh, here it is not red in color. <coughs> Uh, I think you have a chapter titled The Red-Headed League in the next module. In it, you will learn in detail about different shades of hair like auburn, blazing red, etc. Okay, now let us move on to other terms and expressions. The first one is handsome. The count is described as a handsome man. <coughs> handsome means attractive, pretty. In the case of women, we usually use the word beautiful, but as far as men are concerned, the accepted use is handsome. Of course, these rules are not final. There can be changes. Remember one thing, language keeps on evolving. So you may come across an expression like a handsome woman or a beautiful man. Don't worry. <coughs> the next word is nobleman. Nobleman is a person with aristocratic origin, a person who is born into a rich and powerful family like a royal family or uh, to the family of barons, landlords. The next expression is uh, man of the world. A man of the world is a person, generally a man, who spends a lot of time in sophisticated, refined and cultured society. A person who knows how to behave with men of standing. A person who knows how to mingle with educated and elite classes. The word past in this context means appear to be. Of course, past has got a lot of other meanings in other situations. Excellent is very good, exceedingly good, outstanding. Disagreeable means unpleasant, something that is not pleasant, something that shocks us, something jolts us. Prepared here means ready, willing. Shaking is shivering. Rage is violent and uncontrollable anger. So we can read the paragraph once again. He was a tall, broad-shouldered man with a big red beard, a handsome man, a nobleman, a man of the world, who passed as a perfect husband, as an excellent father, and now, for the first time since they had started, she turned toward him and looked him in, looked him full in the face. Remember, uh, this conversation takes place inside a horse-drawn carriage which is technically called a Victoria. Okay, so they are on the move and they have been riding for quite some time and after a few conversations she turned uh, towards this person and gazed, stared at his face. Ah, you will hear some disagreeable things. You are going to hear some shocking things. But you have to understand something. You must understand that I am ready for everything. I am ready to face any consequence. 
and you should also understand that I am afraid of nothing I do not fear anything and I fear you less than anyone today of course I have been afraid of you so far I have tolerated your cruelties but today I am not at all afraid of you I fear you less than others the man was also looking into her eyes and was already shaking with rage he was so angry that he began to shiver he began to shiver and he said in a low voice you are mad